a review on a Towertronics 27 watt DC waterproof floodlight. Uh, this light is uh, rated to run anywhere from 10 to 30 volts. Uh, pretty pretty voltage tolerant, but generally speaking, I'm going to be using this on a 12 volt system. When you pump this all the way up to 30 volt, apparently what they're saying in the labeling is that you could hook this up on a military vehicle, it would still function as intended, or 24 volt uh, power system. What I'm going to be using this on is a solar system where it may be possible for me to run on raw panel voltage without going through the charge controller. I'm a lot more inclined, however, to run this on the battery voltage anyway, which on my test it seems to work just fine. So what these are, it's a really heavy duty aluminum housing. You get these for about 20 bucks from uh, Amazon.com. Go for about 20 bucks each on these things. Uh, really heavy duty stuff here. That's all casting. If you look at the mounting system on these, we have this thing that's, that's kind of molded into it. And then we also have the, uh, the hardware they'll give you. And, and everything I can tell, this is stainless steel hardware. So they give you a little pivot mount thing, they give you a couple of bolts and that sort of a thing. If you want to go with a more rigid mount or have this thing set up to where you, uh, let's say you mount it flat or you make a lamp or a lantern or a work light assembly out of them, these holes back here are threaded. All these things are threaded. Now in theory, you could drill and tap these little things too, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary. But these holes are threaded. And it looks to me like quarter inch fine thread, but I'm not certain. It might be um, number eights also. Uh, it might be number eights or tens, but I think it's it's quarter inch fine thread. It might be a little, little narrower than that, and it probably would be metric. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. As soon as I do figure it out, we're going to see it in the comment section of the video. Uh, over here, really standard stuff. I tested uh, red is positive, black is negative. Uh, everything here has been waterproofed. They use some sort of a silicone sealer. Again, this entire rear section is a solid casting. It's a solid aluminum casting from what I can tell. Very thick uh, polymer on the front, on the front lens assembly. Uh, here you'll see an array of LEDs and then there is also a polymer that was cast into here. Now one of the things I'm starting to notice, as I bought a couple of these things, is that yes, they're heavy duty, yes, they come with a little bit of hardware, um, that rear housing is a casting. And then what I've started to notice is a bit of an inconsistency on how these were mounted like it's a little tilty right so these things it's made to be adjustable on its mount so maybe they didn't care that much because they figure if you need it to point in a slightly different direction it's going to be you know you're going to tilt it you're going to move it so you'll see some unevenness on these things and no you can't remove them this this if anything goes bad on this the entire unit's a throwaway so it's very strong it's very heavy duty very thick plastic with metal housing uh, but there's there's you know if you see some unevenness in that it, there's no throwing it away there's no changing it there's no um, you know that you get what you get when you open up the box uh, also you're gonna see some fairly strong LEDs in here the labeling says 27 watts where the LED light strips you'll see me advertise or not advertise but talk about in some of the other videos you know those things are like 2.5 or 3 watts so 27 watts is a, a fair amount of power usage when we're talking about LED stuff LED screw in, screw in your socket type uh, light bulb things you know there's 7 watts 12 watts something like that so I'm going to do some nighttime video with these, but everything that I've done so far just didn't turn out that great to show how the floodlight works. So I, I need to show the reflectors and the bulbs in here in a little bit more detail so you get an idea of what we're dealing with. Uh, we're dealing with those, those little back reflectors help turn this into a white light. It's a very bluish white light, which in real life is, you know, shows as bluish light, white, uh, white light. In the way these digital cameras pick up the light, it's it's a little tricky. It, it just doesn't do it justice. But I can tell you that it's a very UV heavy type of a bluish white light. 
and it doesn't fill shadows very well. So if you're going to light up a room with these things, surprisingly enough, what I'm finding to light up a room thoroughly with these things, in, and I'm going to be using them on a vehicle and I'm using them in the uh, cabin, is you, you almost got to have them in all four corners just to light the corners of the room right and it also seems to work a little bit better to point these at a wall that's been painted white and then reflection on that tends to somehow even out the light a little bit better than having these things just directly pointed in the room what I found with these things directly pointed in the room as you turn your head and move around a room, it's almost like you're staring at a flashlight and then it, and then that kind of gives you a little bit of a, a, a flash blindness situation and when you look down, you're flash blinded because you just looked up and you, you were staring at a light. So with LED lighting in general, a lot of times you want to do look for a way of doing it with indirect lighting. With these, it's definitely the case. There's not a lot of heat produced out of these so when you do an indirect lighting thing the spacing and reflectiveness of what you're doing that with you you have a lot of leeway on how you play with that but uh, we're going to show other videos on on how that works but this is the LED floodlight you're also going to see some very similar looking lights where the LED arrangement and the lens arrangement on it is different everything else is identical and those are a spotlight uh, so you'll see that this is a floodlight, the other one's going to be a spotlight. I uh, don't have those yet, but you'll see them in the video selection probably early 2014.